What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of the Celebrity Junk. So, guys, you noticed that Shannon Sharp has been bringing people on to the podcast. Now, we all know um, they've been excellently produced. Uh, it's, a, it's a great segment. I don't think none of us are hating on that. But, um, you know, let me just say he, he's bringing on people that are really shaking things up. Can we say that? Extremely shaking things up. So we know that. We realize that. And it's controversial. And, you know, Cat Williams polarizing people like that. Then we have polarizing people like Monique. And really, a lot of the things that would have been left in the dark about certain situations would not be dug back up. But what, what Shannon Sharp is doing is he's bringing those things up, right? Now, for example, let me give you an example of what I mean with his bringing something up. Let's say, for example, this comment that Cat Williams is going to make about Shannon Sharp. Kevin told you he wouldn't go wear no dress until they offered him the dress and then he put it on. And what did he say after he wore it? I made my own decision. Duh. But you didn't make it before they brought it up, did you? It's okay. All right. For a five-year period, every single movie that Kevin Hart did was a movie that had been on my desk that all I had said was just can we take some of this step and fetch it shit out and then I can do it like it don't need to be overtly homosexual because I'm not homosexual right it doesn't need that right. to be funny right mm -hmm. and and me saying that and them going oh yeah no problem and then going to give it to this other guy and having him do it just like it was and acting like I'm a bad person because I keep standing on my standard. But, um, <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's interesting, but I, I wouldn't change it for the world. Like, again, I'm, I'm on the way. <laughs> then let's look at this segment about Monique, about D.L. Hulu. Is that considered family? Yeah. So your husband is considered family, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Okay. So here we go. They said, Monique, we want to play a game of would you rather. Let's go. Would you rather your husband sleep with Lee Daniels with a condom or Corinne Steffens without one? Really, Monique? Now, as y'all are watching right now who haven't heard this story, y'all going, huh? they doing the same thing in the studio. They going, huh? okay. That is exactly what happened. Now, I said to the team, how does that uplift our community? I said, sister, and her name is Jasmine. How could you ask another sister that? Well, we just planned. I said, tell me the joke in that because I don't know what you're insinuating. Then you're involving people that have nothing to do with nothing. Like, what are y'all doing? So I said, I'm going to call my brother. DL. I'm going to call my brother. I call D.L. Hughley on the phone. I say, hey, baby, yeah. Huh? That's how he responds, yeah. Did he know it was you? Yes, he, because they called him to let him know Monique's gonna be calling. Right. Like, this, it was getting crazy. Right. I'm like, just let me get on the phone with my brother, right? right. Hey, D.L., yeah. I said, listen, I just got off the phone with your team and they wanted to play this game, would you rather? And it was like, Stupid, like asking me about my husband and Lee Daniels and Corinne Steffens and his exact words. Well, that's how we do it. I said, DL, how does that uplift our community? And again, I don't know what y'all trying to insinuate, but brother, what you doing? Like I said, that's just how we do it. So it is what it is. Now, it got so ugly that my attorney had to send a cease and desist. Now with that, DL Hughley is going to clap back. But I want you to only focus on the first part of the clip when he refers to Shannon Sharp in Club Shay Shay as Wendy Williams. Well, Club Shay Shay is getting messier and messier. Uh, it's almost like Wendy Williams didn't go anywhere. She just got a waist set. Now, listen to this, guys. This is not the first time that we've heard this. Shout out to my brother Carcino for life because he predicted this. And remember, he was saying, listen, uh, nobody wants to come back on the club Shay Shay. Club Shay Shay's offered, you know, Kevin Hart to come on decline, Chappelle decline, all these people decline, right? But here's what 
here's what Carcino for Life has put out there. He said this a few weeks ago, and this come true. Here's the thing. While he was doing his NBA gig, I was informed. I don't want to say too much, but I know some of the people that work with uh, Club Shay Shay, meaning behind the scenes, like the camera production, that side. So we know a couple of things um, that probably a few people don't know. Now, for instance, there has been uh, some developments that happened in the last two days like they did get a lot of like heat uh club Shay Shay from a lot of people saying why did you have cat williams on there saying i'm making all these claims it was some people did that uh, they didn't go and specify who was the people that actually had the problems um so it's not just you know everybody's loving it on social media and everything but the people in the industry they kind of said, well, that's kind of like we thought this show wasn't, you know, Club Shay Shay was above that, you know, well, as far as them bringing clients onto their show. See, what y'all don't understand is that the agents, even though you work with, you want to get the artists and entertainers, you will have an agent that has like all these clients in a row that they represent more than just one. So they'll bring all their clients there. Um, let's say if Ricky Smiley was on the show, that person might represent, their agent might represent Faison, them, et cetera, right? So when you deal with that agent, the agent is upset. He will pull all of his clients away. What Carcino for Life has just said, and we've heard it. He says, listen, people are looking at Club Shay Shay's show. It is a drama meal. It makes their particular um, actor or actress look very bad. So there is no reason for them to go on there because it's not classy. And it was looked at as a classy show, but it looks more or less like Wendy Williams. It looks like Tasha K. And while that may be true, we're going to be honest. Listen, that is what folks like. And here's what people don't realize. The folks that Club Shay Shay is getting, ain't nobody else gonna be able to get them, all right? So while it does look petty and it looks bad, can't nobody do it like this guy, okay? It's well, and, 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 and who has the connections? Like to get these connections are gonna be very difficult because of, you know, let's say Tasha K. Do you think Monique is going to Tasha K? No. Tasha K is, 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 is gonna be too hood for her and she'll be looking like she's doing Tasha K a favor. But going to Club Shay Shay and, 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 and the reach he got, oh no, it's gonna hit views. Yes, Club Shay Shay got Cat Williams. It literally sold his tour. He was gonna sell out damn near anyway, but it really sold out everything. It sold out everything. His new tour sold out. It had over 50 something million views. Listen, if you're independent and you wanna really get out there, and you don't, and you want to be able to put out the stuff you want to put out, you better take your ass to Club Shay Shay. You better do it. There is no reason why you shouldn't do it. Why? People like it. End of story. You can call it what you want. Black people love that type of shit. We love it. Not only blacks, Americans love it. We love to hear about that. The things going on in Hollywood. Who's this? Things that we haven't heard about before. And yeah, it, it's going to turn off some folks. Well, man, listen, the guy's about to make more money doing this than ever playing football. Facts. I don't give a damn what you're saying. He's doing it in such a way where, yeah, it is messy. It is catty. But, man, it's just a high level. He's a, an excellent conversationalist. He's going to continue to kill it. He's going to mop the floor with these guys. And, again, he's killing it every night. Everybody is going to want to go there. Facts. So guys, what do you think it's your boy Shadeh Jackson? Back at it again for another episode of The Celebrity Drunk. If you're far, you just heard the bell. We're out.